We first introduced you to Gabby, the girl who feels no pain 14 years ago. She has come a long way since then. And next week, that little girl will graduate from high school. Gabby still can't feel pain, but she's hurt for a different reason. After learning her most recent chance at a more normal life is being denied. Here's Carol Evans, Boy Hooper. This one is the one I submitted to the yearbook, so I, I think this one is my favorite. How far yeah. Gabby Gingras has come, from the little girl yeah, to whom we first introduced yeah. 14 years ago. <laughs> the girl who feels oh, no pain. Ah, oh, honey, you can't do that. You'll hurt your head. You You'll hurt your head. A condition so rare, it afflicts only a few dozen people in the world. Watch your head, sweetie. With devastating consequences. Look at Charlie. As a toddler feeling no pain, Gabby scratched her eyes so badly, doctors for a time sewed them shut. As her teeth came in, Gabby chewed her mouth as if it were gum. She ended up in the hospital for 10 days because her tongue was so swelled up that she couldn't drink. I know you. Gabby emerged legally blind. There's four more in here. With no teeth. Those she didn't break off biting toys were pulled out by her dentist to stop the mutilation of her mouth. By the time her adult teeth came in, we thought she'd be old enough to understand. Well, she ended up having a broken jaw, and the adult teeth didn't come in properly, and they broke off one at a time. Now a graduating senior on her way to college at University of Minnesota Morris. So it's pretty disheartening. Gabby um, just wants teeth. Yeah. If I can't eat basically any meat, meat, anything crispy, like raw vegetables, basically anything hard. At this point, I'm mostly chewing with my gums. Like I can only eat like the food that like a 90 year old would. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic have a plan to rebuild Gabby's deteriorated jaw so. with grafted bones from her hip into which they will implant new teeth. I need a healthy mouth to go the rest of my life. But despite pleas from Mayo doctors, Gabby's insurance provider, Aetna, is refusing to pay. In a letter, Aetna said the Mayo's procedures are not covered services, adding that Aetna will cover only services and supplies that are medically necessary. There are no other options for her. There are no options for dentures because there's no soft tissue. There's no structure left for her. This is the only option for her. I hate this right now just because having no teeth changes the way you talk a little bit. It just changes what people think of what I say, and I hate that. It's not because she didn't brush her teeth that her mouth isn't, doesn't work right. It's not because of anything that she did. Like small crack or anything like that, they end up with the mouth she has. It's, it's a condition that she has that is unavoidable. And we're asking for them to step up and do what they're supposed to do. The Mayo Clinic showed some heart, molding Gabby temporary plastic teeth so she could smile for her senior portraits. Even though, like, they're not real, but it's still nice to to see, you know, what I'm supposed to look like and how I kind of always picture myself, even though I don't really look like that. Gabby's dreams are simpler than most, as basic as looking, speaking, and eating, like everyone else. Her one big wish was bite an apple. Medically necessary. I've never been able to do that. Is still open, it appears, to debate. Mm-hmm. But Gabby just wants what's necessary to be a normal, functioning human being. And be what I need to go forward. Trish and Steve Gingrass say they were told Gabby's procedure would cost between sixty and $120,000. This afternoon, Aetna sent us this statement. Ms. Gingrass is a member of an Aetna medical plan. She does not have a dental plan through Aetna. Dental services including replacement of teeth or structures directly supporting the teeth and specifically dental implants are excluded from this member's medical plan. Gabby's father wonders if the response would be the same if his daughter's mouth condition had been caused by cancer or a car accident. Mm -hmm. Aetna told the Gingrises in a letter this week the company's latest review and decision is final. We sure hope that's not true. We hope somehow this can be reconsidered or maybe if they sign up for dental coverage, something. This just doesn't seem to be a fair ending right. to this story. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone wants this 17-year-old girl to have to proceed on to college and into yes. life in this condition. 
Well, and, and we should address something that some people were, were seeing that we were doing this story and they were questioning the decisions made when a Gabby was a young girl and lost her teeth and her eyesight. Can you speak to that, just how really alone these parents were oh, when this started? Oh, if you think back to, to when this started in the early 2000s, there, there were no support groups. Uh, their doctors didn't even know what this right. was. And in really fact, it own. was in part because of Gabby and the worldwide attention that, they, that she received that some families did come together, those few families that have had to deal with this, and, and there are support groups now, and they can at least talk and they can warn other parents who right. confront this to, to right. protect the eyes and, and some of the things that the, the Gingras family learned right. along the way that they know. can now pass along. Oh. Oh. Well, we appreciate the update. We hope there's another update to this story coming, too. I hope so, too. All Thanks, right. Boyd. Thanks, Boyd.